that have come through there are still there. Uh, they've all, you know, worked together, found their way to dance. And, uh, and it sits up there atop of the thermals that are, you know, doing nothing. who knows what <laughs> for all this land mass here. Yeah. And just seeing like that internal fire, that dream work, you know, for that body of, of sentience. And just to be a, a such a minute, you know, little being to to play within the space and get a sense of what's going on, and yeah, it's it's beautiful, it's rewarding, you know, it's uh, it's so humbling again because you find yourself so small in the in the grand scheme of things, and then feeling tribe throughout it, you know, at the tree in the water, just feeling like okay, we're. Uh, being able to find our our peace in the whole and then feel as though we're conduits, we're acupressure, you know, we're acupuncture, we're just setting ourselves up, we're gritting, we're the little crystals. So even if it's not the neutrinos through the separation, it's like ah, inside out. So then it's just flooding in. It feels like it's going into the whole tribe and the whole system. So it's been, it's been, yeah. Amazing. And then to see the different, you know, upon like setting into certain spaces and then sitting in and then see all the uh, beings start coming up. Such and such is doing a live. Such and such is doing a live. Such and such is doing a live. So it's almost like real time responses. OK, when I sink into this space, boom, it it feeds or at least that's what it feels like every time, you know, getting that that visual feedback for it. And then observing the beingness that we are not, we are doing. Uh, I, I, we are aware that we have to just be and be our uniqueness. Yes. And then we can discuss this for hours. Yes. But, but observing it, you are observing it, how it is when you're just being and not thinking about what you have to do, but knowing mm -hmm. and being. Yeah. Yeah, that's something mm -hmm. that's what, when we... I will, well, we, yesterday we talked about, you know, I said, I really, I never was about traveling. But, well, this last month, of course, where everybody was like, I went quantum like two years ago, but then again went quantum in this, last year. And then December was like quantum, 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 <laughs> you know, in your expensive and expanding and consciousness and the clicking and, you know, but came to my awareness that I was, you know, this last layer of conditioning about how a career should look like, how you should make your money. And, all, you know, there's still my father's voice in my head saying, well, you can only be somebody when you do this and you learn that and blah, blah, blah. And then came to me just a few days ago because of something that, you know, everything works together to get you there. So I, I was at this, this point and then the next step was, okay, if I can, I let that last thing go. And now I, I feel the need, you know, to really explore the world on all the things I, I wanted to see as a child, but always was kind of afraid of, you know, the traveling and strange things and the things I needed to do to be somebody. I said to Hans, I said, what about, if we've got everything settled, you know, with the, with the work and the money, you know, you have to have funds to do it, right? <laughs> I said, we should explore all those beautiful places that we've talked about and really, you know, see the world as a human being. You know, we are here and I don't want to leave this world without even seeing it. You know, just seeing the Netherlands and just a few European countries and just, you know, twice Costa Rica. And there's so much more. It was, yeah, for a lot of people, this might sound strange, but for me, it was this new opening on how to perceive the world. You know, you can look from above, and, you know, I'm a four six uh, in my human design profile, so I am the observer and I can see over all things and I connect the dots, but that also needs to be grounded. So I need to explore where I live as a human being. And I totally forgot that. <laughs> mm. I got a beautiful reminder yesterday, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your your response is is what emotional. And is it 
is it instantaneous or no with emotional you really want to ride it uh, you yes know, feel it yeah when i respond i can feel a yes or a maybe or a no when it's a no mm -hmm. um well maybe most of the time when i have this you know you just feel a doubt that's because of the emotion so you feel something rising and i feel a doubt and that's for me now a natural sign to always just go okay and then i say let me think about it and sometimes it just takes an hour or a half an hour or you know and sometimes it takes a day sometimes it takes weeks and sometimes i still don't know until the moment that it's there <laughs> mm -hmm. you know so but i do truly listen to my inner authority now it's the body mm -hmm. is so wise it gives so much mm -hmm. signals and you have to get out of your head to really acknowledge that wisdom and that mm -hmm. only has just come to me this year you know even with the emotions the, the triggers the wounds that we carry you feel something rising inside of you and before like when i was young i was like immediately in the emotion reacting and now i i am able to just observe i'm like oh my gosh my hands are shaking or my legs are are shaking or i feel this inside of me and I just sit there kind of smiling to my body, like, okay, what's going on? Why are you mm -hmm. feeling, are you feeling threatened? Are you, is, what is, what is touching you? What is triggering you? So I have this sort of no words conversation and ease my body down and then respond to what is happening. And that, that gives a lot of liberation and ease to, um, respond to that what is confronting you in a good way well there is no good and bad but for me in a neutral way you know with the no judgment not towards myself or to the other or the situation it's just able to be there and that's okay everything is okay and everything uh, may be there because of there is no good and wrong it's just an experience mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I can truly say, first it was mental, you know, a lot of things are first mental. And they said, I know it, you know, the mind goes like, yeah, I know that. <laughs> but then when it drops to your body, it's like, oh, yeah. you know, it becomes so natural. So that's why I now also know, you know, the sixth is, or is also the role model. I now am finally able to see what that means. Mm. Because you become the knowledge and the wisdom. Mm -hmm. it's the way you, you go out into the world you don't have to prove mm -hmm. anything you just be you just be you, you know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I realize when I'm saying this it sounds it sounds so easy while well, it is a process <laughs> it is mm -hmm. and, and as you said going from the mental from the okay I I get that I get what they're saying to then you know as you said making sense of it or really sensing it and feeling it whoa okay and this feeling within that could have uh, prematurely been uh reacted to is now held in a space more responsibly and you know allowing the the emergence or whatever is unfolding to actually like build that relationship and with yeah it, it feels uh it's it feels to me more and more like that glove that's getting on like now, now there's more um, reverence within putting it on and more of a <sighs> allowing the space to, to get an even, uh, yeah, more harmonious. Yeah, it becomes uh, natural, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, well, it still, it feels like there's more compassion for the unnatural. Like the unnatural has been in there, the distortion or that that interference, just something between the the spirit itself and the glove. So all the all the father's teachings or the mother's teachings of the school, you know, all that that stuff in between. There's now more uh, compassion to allow all that to kind of like, yeah, I see it. As you said, you know, it, it all is necessary to get us here, but it, it may not be relevant to here and now. So it, it's like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, you know. yeah, it's, it's sometimes not even explainable. I find myself 
that mm. I have I have a defined throat, so I have a voice. But there's so many moments that I don't find the words. And mm. I really had to mm. sit with that, you know, feeling a sort of frustration on I've got this voice and I know all these things and I feel everything. And, uh, you know, again, the monkey going like wanted to prove itself. And now uh, I feel that, okay, when it's the right time, when I make this connection with my true self, I don't think about what I have to say. I know when I have to speak and I will have the words. Otherwise, it's okay to be just be silent and give my voice to those that have an open throat. So I'm a very good listener, I have learned. First, I was always talking, you know, again, proving myself, saying, you know, I know this and I can do that and blah, blah, blah. And now I feel what a gift it is to be able to lend your voice to another and just to be there, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And is that, do you see that with your, your throat center? Is it highlighted or you're saying it's open? No, it's, mine is defined. So I have this energy flow all the time. Yeah. Okay. And with Hans, is his open or closed? Open. So he talks a lot. <laughs> in, in your presence. Yes. Mm. But I made him and aware of the course. <laughs> huh? I made him aware. I said, like, you're talking again. You're not even listening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah. It's such a beautiful harmony to have those mechanics. It gives, yeah, it really gives a roadmap, especially between a couple, you know, the, the, the first, well, we know, we've known each other now for like 20 years, but we okay. have this, you know, secret relationship <laughs> and yeah. uh, we've got married uh, six years ago because he was finally free and, you know, did his thing. I did my thing. <laughs> And, um, um, but then you, you know, when the, when the honeymoon is over, you get real life, right? And then you start to notice that the things that you like can also be the things that are threatening to your relationship. You know, you know something about human design, right? So, you know, the channel 59, 6. 59, 6. Let me look. I can say it in short. It's it's the energy of can I fuck it? <laughs> okay, fifty nine six. Yeah. So, you know, he's charming and and uh, he makes quickly connections with everybody. He's very open. He's the vessel of love in his incarnation cross. But, um, you know, you have these different frequencies in those energy fields. And at the low frequency, it's just about hunting and, you know, crossing the DNA and, you know, procreate. But when you're married, <laughs> that's, you know, you have to talk about it because I don't have that channel. <laughs> I do have 35, 36. So, you know, also about adventure and sexual and, you know, but on, on a, you know, a, a different stream. So, um, but first... He kind of judged himself also about it, you know, that it, when every time he looks outside and he sees a woman, the first thing he thinks is, can I fuck it? <laughs> and for me, that's, you know, a whole different stream. I really have to connect. And when I connect, you know, it's, it's, it, it's always going to be there. And, uh, but in the beginning of a relationship and when you still hold some wounds, every, every woman is a threat. So, but, but when I um, encountered human design and we were able to see that it was just who he is, that's his uniqueness and that it has a purpose and being able to talk about, about my fears, about me being, feeling threatened, he could explain why I shouldn't feel threatened. And he made this beautiful sort of um, graphic, like he says, you know, he has female friends, and he says, well, they, they fill in this, this and this part. And this woman fills this part and just that part. But you, you fill all those parts. So there is never any threat, you know? So 
with human design, if you know each other's design and you are able to communicate about it, about really being transparent, that's also the 59 is transparency and gene keys, uh, which Hans found very hard to, because of his own judgment, very hard to discuss with me. Like I saw this beautiful woman and I talked to her, you know, and blah, blah, blah. blah. He, he felt guilty. And now he's finally open to just say, I, oh, I, I uh, talked to this uh, lovely lady and uh, yeah. And then I see, you know, this, this tingles in his eyes, like, oh, you were trying to seduce her, you know? And that brings so much space in the relationship. And then, you know, there's no threat anymore. And about my line, the 35, 36, also what comes with that is a lot of creativity. So I moved the house around like every two weeks, the house was different inside, you know? And he was going crazy because he needs structure because of his um, uh, right, right brain, you know, the receptive. Uh, it was like, oh no, that's chaos for him. So because of that, I could steer that energy of creative being and needing to, to change or to do something I could put in other things so it wouldn't bother him. So that's why I just I, love knowing the human design. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did you move that over to? Oh, so many things. Uh, well, of course, the paintings. Uh huh. And yeah, your uh, paintings are beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the paintings, and um, well, at the same time, um, you know, as a manifesting generator, I need to do multiple things. It's just the way it is. So when I first started painting, I uh, listened to Savant's, uh, you know, YouTube movies and, and other stuff about history and spirituality and everything. I was just taking in, taking in and while painting. So that's why it's intuitive. You just go with the flow, no thinking, just painting, being creative and taking in all this information. So, yeah, that was sort of where I put my, my creative energy in and the changing. And now, because I found human design and through the human design, I found gene keys. And through that, I found different communities and, you know, doing lots of stuff. And that's where I put my energy now. That's also being creative because I'm connecting and networking and sharing and co-creating on what can we build or create to do this or that. So I, I don't feel a need to change the house anymore. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You have your creative outlets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he feels safe and secure now because of that. Yes, he can or find no, the because of that. <laughs> and then all the other stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and how, how have you seen the, the relationship with enneology? Well, the, the beauty In, is the way I see it now is mostly in the profile. Like uh, when I read my four, six, and I am a four, seven in, in uh, the genealogy, I see the four in, in the four, six of human design. Yeah. And, um, you know, the genealogy is kind of, uh, how do you say that pressed together? It's like this short introduction on who you are. And I can find multiple things and just little things but that's why I said for me because yeah you, you know I've been in two years three years now for human design and for me it's just too, too short but for everybody who just starts it's just enough most of the time it's even too much <laughs> yeah see I I as you say that I wonder if uh or not wonder but I hear the four seven so, because I, I very much relate to, you know, I, I know there's still so much in the genealogy that I haven't even explored because subconsciously I'm like, yeah, but that's, that's only going to lead me so far. I need way more depth. I need I Ching. I need human yeah. design, gene keys, the astrophysics of, you know, I so, know. and I'm, you know, five, seven in genealogy. So I see that seven path of just like. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five Where's... for you. The five also yeah. wants to know all the little the things and finding things out and be in their own process and and you know, yeah. So you mm -hmm. see, that's why it, it is definitely related. 
but but if you want to go more in depth than I Ching, you know, Jinkies, human design, mm -hmm. astrology, maybe I'm kind of looking in it right now because I heard somebody say about the female asteroids and I was like, okay, what's that? But they're, yeah, they're just new. So yeah, but maybe it holds something. I don't know yet because I haven't figured out uh, Chiron just yet. You know, the wounded healer and some uh, human design um systems they use the chiron and uh and some don't so but i feel it is important because for me as a four six you know uh, after 50 about 50 years old you get into your chiron return and uh so it has meaning but you know there's so much there's so much and sometimes mm -hmm. i have to you know whistle myself back like okay now you're going too broad again go back and mm -hmm. You know, but at first I have to just see everything like, okay, this, 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 this. And then I collect everything. I have masses of resources, books, stuff, uh, PDFs, whatever. I'm like this library. So I have everything, but I haven't read anything, everything yet. Mm -hmm. But then when I get everything, I'm like, okay, what do I feel that needs to become to my awareness right now? And that's how I just follow my rhythm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. works for me every time I have this even before I sometimes have the question I just already grab the book or get by YouTube a video that remembers me that I have to look into into that part mm -hmm. and then it click 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 goes again and then you know grounding it and then the next steps come comes and it's always yeah, cosmically funny, always in synchronicity what is happening around me. You know, I hear this, these subjects in my communities and like, oh, that's what I was two weeks ago. So now I sort of can guide or show people where to look. So that, yeah, that gives me a good feeling. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You said a female asteroid you know, coming through, uh, and that's in Chiron, has, has a relationship to that? Uh, I don't know yet. I don't believe so. No, they're, they're um, one of I them was called Ceres, and you have Aphrodite, and you have, oh yeah, I, I just looked in it this week, so it just came to my awareness just now, so I, I don't have these answers yet, but no, it has nothing, it, as far as I know now, I, it doesn't have to mean anything with, with the Chiron. Chiron. <laughs> I, I guess it was where, where the link came in or that just came in was of the wounded healer in the sense of knowing you're, you can't be a healer without being a wound or, you know, so just being able to play that consciously. Like I'm going into a story, I realize this. However, I know it's necessary to to share the story to make that that line, so the other that you know is where I was at when I was the wounded one can see it from now a healer's point of view. Even though I know I'm still wounded and I'm still healer, but I'm gonna slide in here as now the healer to or now the wounded to just lead more of ourself upstream and and be that living example, that proof of life. So I, I felt like, oh, yeah, you know, another asteroid okay. just coming through. Okay. Which could be inspiring to another being yeah. or, oh, no, to another being. But when it's told in a way that allows the being to then ping off of it and be motivated by that force that comes through and lights up the darkness, and it's a whole other way of playing. So I see that with you. I see when you come into the to the different groups as well, like in tribes vibes, but, and certainly in person. <laughs> I'm best in person. It's very inspiring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I and uh, and oh, go ahead. No, I said uh, what I'm becoming aware of because I was so long insecure about you know who I was and and how people looked at me, and you know then getting your profile and then allowing to be what what it says that i am you understand 
And when I allowed that, then suddenly you see yourself being it, you know, in, in the communities where I, I host, uh, you know, meetings because I'm all about, you know, gathering together. It's my 40, 45. <laughs> but yeah, this creating this space where people can be vulnerable and see the strength in the vulnerability. And the, the feedback that I get is that they feel safe acknowledged um yeah being able to be themselves in any shape or form and um and i'm now yeah i'm now kind of aware or conscious that that it's a gift that is you know um people put value on certain skills and like this is a skill that you almost can't name because it's just present you know with your light what you're saying with your yeah your aura your your, your whole being and um yeah it's funny because it, today it came to me that this is a value it's a new value for the new paradigm what is yeah. not really appreciated yet but very important if we want to become you know united and and one again and work together as as a whole and um I don't know where I'm going with this, but <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. So I do. I the, value, have, the value. Yeah, and I feel I I feel this happy feeling of wanting to create more of these spaces. You know, going out there, but not for me, but for my presence to the other, what it can do to the other. And also related to the healing, because if you feel safe in a space and you're able to be vulnerable in that space mm -hmm. and you're able to heal. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting these new insights on how we as human beings can heal from our wounds. Mm -hmm. It's not just the crystals. It's not just the, 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 the dream. It's not just, you know, it's all these parts. It's the food, it's the, the, the awareness. It's, but it's also the releasing of all the things that, 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 that are talking to us, you know? Because the wounds talk too, a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Being able to cultivate a space where the beings can come in and feel free and safe and secure enough mm -hmm. to unveil, to, to actually build relations and listen to those wounds. Right. As you said, uh, it's the value there is, it may not be consciously uh, no. streamlining and trending, but it's certainly craved for. Mm -hmm. And I know within my own journey that I didn't realize how how lost I was or how hungry I was for that very, you know, for this very uh, sense of self to, to feel, as we said, now to be able to respond more than react, mm -hmm. but to feel comfortable with going into the wounds and now feeling it and feeling, okay, what, wow, we get an opportunity to consciously establish a cleaner relationship with what we're feeling, right. wow. And this is gonna allow us to then show up this much more with everyone and everything mm -hmm. outside. Mm. 